Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. February 8, 2023. I am a drunk poker. Tis beer time. It's a Wednesday night's an online trivia with our pal Big Dumb Face Trivia. I'm doing this for forever. Well, I took a break for a while, but now we're back at it. So I got my beers. So I had dinner. For our pals, third moon, third moon brewing and melting. Going third moon in tonight. No work tomorrow. Time for some separation angst. 10.5% triple. I'll say it'll triple up. Yay, son. It's a jacked up version of their separation anxiety pale ale. I don't really have separation angst unless I'm away from my beer fridge for too long. And then I start to feel like nobody loves me anymore. But here we are having a beer on a Wednesday night. No work tomorrow. Hee hee hee. Like quads and triples. Do you know what's funny? I, I just I've been back and forth on this with myself. Because I was falling in love with lagers again and then IPAs just came roaring back into my life and I don't know what it is. But you know, I'm not a totally off Pilsners and, and lagers, but god damn it. I like them better. Let's get into it. Beautiful. Cheers. Wow, so this is probably a cup, couple weeks old now, I think. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, triple IPA. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, so a couple weeks, maybe. Um, that's really nice. That's beautifully, it's not, like, hot. Because um, a lot of these big IPAs can be a little hot when you first get them ready, get a little hot burn on it. Well-balanced, beautiful, tropical, juicy, all that stuff. Loads of pineapple. Um, pithy orange. Grapefruit, definitely, and a nice pine back at the end. It's bitter. It's it's soft body, but this has a really big bitterness on it. It's quite nice. It's very much what I was hoping it was going to be. Again, it's third moon. I think we've reached the point now where, we, we yeah, I'm just going to praise them because it's damn good beer. Like, there's things I have that aren't in my wheelhouse, which is different than things that aren't made well. Things that are in my wheelhouse but are made well, I can tell you, hey, this is a good beer. It's just not for me. But if things aren't well made, that's different. I don't really get a lot of those because I don't waste my time with middling breweries anymore. You know, there's, there's places I just don't go anymore because I've, I've just had too many bad experiences or too many experiences where I'm like, why would I spend my money on your beer? The difference is with Third Moon, when they release something and I'm like, I'm interested in that, I buy it because I know it's going to be good. It's a quality thing now, more than ever, especially in this economy. Triple IPA in this economy? What, are you kidding me? But no, it's it's not even to make light of the fact, you know, we spend a little more. You spend a little more when you buy beer that's triple IPAs and stuff like that because they cost more to make. But I'm okay with that because I'm treating myself. You know, I pay my bills. I take care of the stuff I got to take care of. This is my, you know, my little bit of fun money. You know, some people have hobbies. I drink beer. Not even a hobby. It's just what I do. So... Get yourself some Third Moon. This is beautiful. I don't know if there's any left, but they got new beers coming out. They got some Valentine beers you can pick up. If you're looking for something sweet this weekend, I think that they've got you hooked up real good. But there's always IPAs hanging around there. You know that. Let's get into it, my friends. Cheers. Have a wonderful evening. Middle of the week, if you're a Monday to Friday person, or if you're like me and you're off tomorrow and you're going to work on the weekend or whatever, just keep going, man. Like they say, keep swimming. Keep swimming. Cheers. Beer was an ocean, and I was a duck. I'd swim to the bottom and drink my way up, but beer's not an ocean and I'm not a duck, so I'll drink triple IPAs and get right fucked up. Cheers.